Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is Liberates, and today I'm going to be doing a Cinema 4D tutorial because you guys want Cinema 4D tutorials. Well, some of you do. Okay, so today we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some basic 3D text in Cinema 4D, and um, I think either tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to show you guys how to motion track it into an actual scene, like for like gameplay, so you can like have it like on a wall, like while the camera's moving, and gotten some requests for that. So for t when I make that tutorial, um, just go out and get this right now before you forget or whatever. Um, just go search up how to get Buju on um, like YouTube, and it's um, basically it's just a motion tracking thing. Even Jigger Madoodle my Hickaroonie. Okay, so let's get to, well, that's what I use it for. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. So first of all, obviously we open up Cinema, <coughs> and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go. Well, actually, there's there's lots of ways you can make three text. Um, one of them, a basic one, is obviously just come to MoGraph and go down to text object and then you get this thing and then just in this text box type in whatever you want it to say like rar and then just come down here and you can change your font uh, I'll change it to my favorite font well my one of my favorite fonts velocity and so yeah that's pretty 3d already but if you don't like how it's 3d then go depth right here and change this to like 100 and see how it gets more deep and what is subdivision? Oh, that, that, that. No, 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 no. Thank you. Okay. So, and then, um, so yeah, that's that. But, um, to make kind of a cooler, in my opinion, 3D text, what you want to do is come to this cube right here, and then to the right of it is like a freehand little snake thing. And come down to text right here underneath star, and go to the text box down here, and type in your whatever you want to say. So, I'll just type in liberates. And then just change your font like you did before. And I'll change it to velocity. Um, so now, as you can see, hold on. See if if you have font that you like, but it kind of overlaps like this to where it you can't really tell what it is. Um, come down to go to um horizontal spacing right here, and just kind of push this up until they're spread apart. Like there. See how the L and the I are separated now. So that's a pretty nifty tool. So horizontal spacing. Remember that. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is you can see when you render this out, you can't even see it. You're gonna want to go click on this cube right here, this 3D looking cube that's green, and go down to extrude nerves right there. And now you're gonna click on the text, click and hold, and you're gonna drag it up into extrude nerves, and they're tell the arrows facing down. Uh, what the heck? So until it's facing down, and then just let go, and then make it 3D, and then when you render it out you can see it but let's say you don't want this this is too um like thin for you then click on extrude nerves go to object and go down to movement and go to where it says 20 it should say 20 as default and type in I'm gonna type in a hundred and then um so you got base your basic MoGraph 3d text here but what you want to do now is come to extrude nerves not the text to the extrude nerves okay go to the extrude nerves click control C control V to copy and paste or you can right click go to copy and paste like the nerdy way okay so now on the top one go down to movement and where it said 20 originally where you typed in the number that you want you want to put in half of what you put in there 50 so, that, so since 50 is half of 100 then that's what I'm gonna put in and now you're gonna face this way and um, you're gonna drag this blue arrow on the top text that you just changed to half and you're gonna drag it back half of the number that you just put in so 25 for me um, so 24.8 close enough whoa sir okay um so now by the way these for those of you who are beginning these are how you rotate a camera this is to kind of get a spin this moves it up and down and this zooms in and out or you can use your scroll bar on your mouse um, this one, this little box thing, it puts it into a bunch of different views, and I really don't like that because it screws with it. That's not very cool. Um, wow, I don't really know how to change it. Hold on. Oh, what? I just messed everything up. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm not very good at that. Okay, so now go to your top extrude nerves, and you're gonna want to come down here to caps. Remember, click on extrude nerves, not the text. Go to caps, and then go start click on this where it says cap and go down to fillet or fillet whatever you want to call it change the radius to anywhere from like 5 to 15 I'm gonna go 10 and then go down to end and change cap to fillet cap as I like to call them and then go to radius and change it to 10 also or whatever number you typed in and now what you get is you just get a basic kind of it kind of juts out and it looks kind of embossed let me see how much time I got okay 
So now to add um <coughs> no I hate that button to move to add materials to it um you're gonna come down here and you can either go file new material control N or you can just double click on this box down here and then double click on the material you just created. Now um if you have a earlier version of Cinema 40 like I do then the brightness will be at 80. Just you wanna click some anywhere and then just drag it all the way up to 100. But I think if you have like release 11 and up it'll just automatically be 100. So now you wanna go to color and um click on this little box and change it to whatever color you want. I'll do a, a green color just to change it up for some variety. And then another cool effect like I've used in a lot of like speed edits, well like by a lot I mean two. Okay, go down to reflection down here underneath transparency. You're going to click on it and then you're going to check this box next to it to make sure it's on. And then you're going to get like this kind of a green or whatever color it was, you're going to get a world little reflection. Come down to texture and go to this little arrow right here. Change it to a Fresnel and that makes it look glossy and it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to drag this onto the back one. So you can either drag it up there or you can you can either take it and drag it up on the top one or you can just drag it directly onto the back layer like that. Now when you render it out, you can see it's it already looks pretty nice. Now I'm going to create a new material by double clicking down here again and then double click on that. Go to make sure cuz it usually stays on the reflection. Make sure to go back to color and then I'm going to change the brightness all the way up. I'm gonna actually going to change it to 150 so I get it more wide of a look. I'm going to go back to reflection, click check on the box, and then change it to a Fresnel, and then exit out of that, and then drag it onto the front text, like that. Now when I render this out, it's, you know, it's just, it looks pretty good. It's green, and it's like an embossed white, and it looks really nice. So now after this, um, if you want to add, like, see how it's kind of just floating in the air when you render it out? Um, what you're going to do is you can come down to this cube right here and go down to plane and come to width and make it like just spam like the nines. Type in a bunch of nines and then go to height and type in a bunch of nines. And then these you can keep the same or if you want to you can change them. These are just the little lines right here. So I like to change them to one and one just so it looks kind of better. And now, but it does, those don't actually show up. So now as you can see it's kind of floating on gray. So now come down here and make a new material. Double click on it. Go to color, remember. Change the brightness all the way up. And I'm going to make this kind of a reflection reflective purplish color. So click on purple and then I'm going to go to reflection, check it and I'm going to change it to a Fresnel because I love Fresnels. Now exit out and drag this straight onto the plane either by going up there or you could just drag it straight onto the plane. Now when you render it out like that, you can see it's reflection it's got a reflection but it looks like it's kind of too close so what you're going to want to do is click on the first extrude nerves and then hold down control and click on the top one so it selects them both and then you can let go control and then um you're going to click on the green arrow and drag it up like to 10 anywhere from 10 to 20 i think looks nice so i'll go 14.9 and then just click the render button and you can see it's a reflection this was supposed to be a basic um, 3D text tutorial, but I kind of did materials and floors and reflections, so I guess this is like a bundle. So, yeah, um, I already told you tomorrow, the next day, I'm going to be making how to motion track this 3D text to a, um, to an actual scene, so yeah, I'll just end this, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.